welcome to another edition of AwakenTheWorld.ca. My name is Darren and today we are talking about, uh, this is the video that accompanies the blog post, Waking Up is Hard to Do. Now, if you're like me and you're a, a, a child of the music of the 70s and 80s, of course you, and, and you, you still love the 80s music and the 70s music, which I do, you come to realize quick, quite quickly that no matter what you're doing, there's an 80s or 70s lyric that goes right along with it. And uh, the title for this article, of course, came out of um, a line from a, an 80s tune, Waking up is hard to do. <laughs> Uh, waking up is hard to do, and yet it's not. Uh, when it happens, it happens immediately, and it's right now. Um, as I said in the blog post this morning, and I'm just going to read a few lines from it because um, sometimes what I write has uh, a little more time to, to percolate in there. Um, waking up to the truth that you are more than your physical self is not an easy task, but yet it is. It isn't really waking but more of a remembering of who you are. What you truly are has always been. It will never die and knows no such thing as suffering. It is a journey to your true self and yet not a journey requiring any physical steps. The journey is within to the core of your being. Bathed in the light of consciousness, this is the real you. What you are is limitless and knows no boundaries. Uh, that's the, the first paragraph from the blog post, and, and, and to me that's a beautiful way to, to sum up what we truly are. I mean, wh whenever we think of what we truly are, we're often limited by our small s self, the small sense of self, which is the egoic self. And that small sense of self is limited. It feels separate, it feels alone, it feels weak, powerless. It, it feels that life is buffeting it around or, or that it's being thrown on the waves of the ocean of life. Whereas just below the surface, where the real you begins, there's this calmness. I mean, the analogy of the ocean and getting blown on the waves of life, that this is the same thing. Were we to sink down below the waves, we'll find that even though the surface is turbulent, below the waves there is this profound stillness. There is this pregnant silence of, of opportunity and creativity. That is the foundational uh, form of all of our being. It, it is life itself and that is what you truly are. So let's talk about the small self versus the, the big S self. Uh, when you're young as a baby, uh, you don't have a small sense of self. There is only the self with a capital S, that which you truly are. Nothing appears to be outside of the self, everything is inside of the self. As the years go by, we are taught to identify with the concept of I and with it comes all the issues uh, as well as words like my and mine. So. The toy that you freely played with, uh, with everyone when you were young, now becomes my toy. And as soon as it becomes mine, there's a piece of you that becomes identified with that toy as part of yourself. Now, that wouldn't be such a bad thing, but the reality of the physical world is that anything that comes into our uh, existence is bound to leave it sooner or later. And it doesn't matter whether it's a toy or a fancy car or a fancy house at any age. To the ego, the small sense of self, losing that object is akin to cutting out a piece of itself. And it feels the pain as if a piece of itself has been taken away. Now, of course, this isn't the true you. You are not that voice in your head. You are not your opinions, you are not your judgments on, on others, or what others choose to judge about you. You are eternal consciousness. You are love. You are the creator. You are joy. You are the foundation of all being and all life in the universe. And in all universes, uh, th this is what you are. And it's an amazing, powerful thing. So, how do we wake up? Uh, how do we uh, 
come to this understanding that we are beyond our small concept of ourselves well the journey as I said in the beginning is within everything that you are everything that you needed required wanted for this life you were born with in that moment you came from your mother's womb unless you were like me and you were hatched out of a giant egg full size um, and, and there's a lot of people who would agree with that um, you came into this world as that little tiny baby whole and complete with everything you needed this journey is a journey of waking to what you truly are waking to your higher self and the simplest and easiest way to start this is by uh, and, and my wife I drive my wife nuts with this all the time but it's the three words that I pretty much answer all of her questions with and that is awareness 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 <laughs> you can reach out and slap me through the video I mean uh, she's got a frying pan she's ready to hit me with as soon as this video is done because I've said that to her so many times but the bottom line is this in your daily existence awareness is the key when you wake up in the morning take a moment take a breath a conscious breath feel your entire body lying there in the bed and and feel the aliveness of your body now while you're lying there um, do yourself another little favor and try to find where you exist specifically a little bit of attention to this and you'll find out that you can't actually find yourself in your body there's no one spot where you say oh there I am and 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 that's another amazing sign that what you are far transcends that Another wonderful way to help wake up is, is to uh, realize that the only power that voice in your, has, in your head has is to talk. That's the only thing that that voice in your head can do. You are the listener. You are the observer of your experience here. You are that which hears the voice in your head. Now, that which you truly are is silent. And the words it speaks also speak in silence. You're not going to find those words inside your head as thoughts. Uh, it is possible that your ego can um, interpret from your higher self, and, and that happens to us all the time. Uh, part of the issue, of course, is that the, the ego has been so blemished by its so-called negative experiences that it, it tends to interpret wrongly what comes from the higher self. So how do you know when a thought that is in your head is actually from that higher place? It's, it's actually very simple and clear. Those thoughts will be not preceded by any negativity. That there will be no preceding thought. There will simply be the appearance of a thought that's, that's higher than you thought before. A thought that's more compassionate than you've ever thought before. A thought that's more loving than you ever thought before. Those are uh, our true self trickling out through the egoic personality and, and leaking out into the world. Uh, so pay attention to those things. Listen to your intuition. A lot of people will tell you intuition needs to be developed. Well, I'm sorry, but that's a lie. What you are has intuition on the same level as our creator. You are an intuitive being. There's nothing that can take away from that intuition. It's simply a case of unmasking the, the cover of ego that we put on top of that. So other ways you can help wake yourself up, um, allow yourself to be wrong, even when you know you're right. Uh, we talked about this um, in, a, there was a, a post on the Eckhart Tolle study group, and someone had said, well, how do you deal with people who are ignorant and have no knowledge and have to be right? And my answer is, well, why do you have to be right? The need to be right is an egoic need. It is a need of your lower self to maintain its identity. You see, the issue with ego is that it knows it's selling you a lie. And it lives in constant fear that one day the true you will figure the lie out and put the ego back in its place. You know, uh, a lot of people say waking up is a, uh, is a struggle, and you know, um, it is a struggle. 
Uh, it, it certainly is. Waking up is a destructive process. It involves the ripping and tearing away of all that you thought you were. Everything that you've ever identified with has to be torn away from you in order for you to see your true self. Uh, this can be feel very much like Job in the Bible or uh, you know any other reference you, you, you wish or your own personal life. I mean, uh, my wife Kelly has gone through this and, and so have I. For myself, it was intentional. I realized that with a very powerful intellect and, and a very strong uh, sense of egoic self that I would have to strip away everything in order to have a chance to find that. And, and I did. I, uh, I sold or got rid of and gave away everything I had. I put my entire life into a backpack and headed out into the world with nothing. And all these years later, I, I'm still here and have grown for it. So uh, the, the, the journey to waking up isn't necessarily an easy one. As a matter of fact, to the ego, it feels like hell on earth. In my wife's case, it was the tearing away of her old relationship, as bad as it was. Um, I mean, um, her ex cheated on her and lied to her all the time and, and blew money like it was water and, and caused her all sorts of financial issues. But at, at the end of the day, even tearing away that, her ego still had an issue with that because, of course, that was so much part of her identity. And then came the tearing away of her family. And, and that uh, had nothing to do with Kelly, it had simply to do with the fact that she no longer believed uh, in the same conservative Christian uh, viewpoint that her family had. And because of that, they've punished her for three years now with absolutely no contact. Personally, it hasn't been much of a punishment. It's been a great time to allow my wife to, to grow and, and to work towards waking to her true self. Um, you know, I, I'm going to wrap this up here. I, I don't like to make these too long, but the, the bottom line is this. What you are is an amazing, powerful spiritual being here on planet Earth having a human experience. The only goal you have, the only purpose you have here is to wake up and realize that you are a powerful, infinite creator and take responsibility for your creations and to consciously create what you choose. Now, how does this apply to other people in our lives? Well, it does because we're all one. You, you cannot wake yourself up without helping to wake others up in the process. And this is why every spiritual text, every spiritual teacher, uh, God himself in conversations with God says the same thing. Better to work on yourself than to try to wake someone else up. The reason being, when you get past your own ego sense of self, when you begin to realize that you are this larger, more magnificent, uh, wonderful spiritual being, you can then look around you and see that same magnificent spiritual being in everyone else. And when you do, your ability to love, your ability to show compassion and, and, and caring for another, uh, grows by leaps and bounds because you realize ultimately there is no other. We're all running around with this false sense that, you know, I am Garen and you are Kelly and you're Frank and you're George. But the, 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 those are actors in a play. The, the set, the movie set we're all on is the reality of what we are. We are that boundless life itself that infinite sea of consciousness from which all things arise and fall back into to rise again. I hope this video has helped a little bit in your quest to wake up. Um, understand that you're not alone. Uh, I am with you. All of humanity is with you and ultimately we are all one and we're going to get through this together. Again, I'm going to invite everyone for the spring equinox in 2019, that's March 20th, for a global meditation to uh, change consciousness on this planet. We, we desperately need this as a, as a species right now. It's okay if we don't, but I would prefer to see that none of us have to suffer. So we're going to try and make a conscious leap forward as a globe. Again, that's the spring equinox, March 20th, 2019. Check out our website, awakentheworld.ca, and we hope to see you soon. Take care.